Welcome to Zoro Cats. Thank you for joining me here today. We are going to be playing Dead Rising 2. Uh, you probably saw that from the title, but uh, this is not Dead Rising 1. This is Dead Rising 2. This is big league stuff. Uh, I actually have no experience with Dead Rising 1. I jumped into Dead Rising 2 because A. Zombies and B. It just seemed like a good thing to do. I don't know. Um, so the thing is this is a very interesting game and it took a long time to get into the uh, mechanics of playing the strategy of playing getting into the story you'll see here I'm dressed as a ninja um, the reason being it's just available to me as, as a bonus uh, this is the daughter of the main character her name's Katie She's been bitten, and uh, we have to keep getting her Zombrex, which is a medication keeping her from turning. Um, where we are now is a safe area, and in this safe area, you'll see a lot of survivors. Uh, many of them I brought here. So that's, that's the driving force of the game is uh, you're leaving this secure zone, you're going out, and uh, you're going to find people to bring back, and meanwhile, finding Zombrex for Katie and meanwhile uh, solving the mystery of who let these zombies free um, because typically zombies are controlled in this universe they're uh, they're part of life as you can see they have medication to keep people from turning and uh, I'm going to show you guys here a little bit of the customization aspect so you, not only you can customize your guy you can customize your weapons the customized weapons last longer they do more damage and you get bonus for using them so it's it's a pretty cool thing like you can put uh, two chainsaws on a paddle and then you'll have like a Darth Maul style twin chainsaw uh, it does a lot of damage the thing like I was saying is you just want to run through the hordes as much as possible it seems like I don't really fight them unless I have to because look you can just literally bounce off of them as long as they don't grab you you're fine um, I do want to get a snack here you can go in any store and you can outfit yourself you can grab food as health um, that part is very easy the only thing that stress oh geez Louise put that hat back you look foolish um, so the only thing that's stressful about the game is if you're trying to fight everybody uh, there's no point there's no point in fighting everybody uh, it just takes up time it takes up your weapons health and I mean it's mildly fun but it's not extremely like orgasmic need to need to fight these zombies so like I was saying you can pick up anything. Just grab the guitar as an example. Just start smashing them up. Right? So, good deal. Uh, the wheelchair, <clears throat> that's a big part of this game as well. Because in saving people, you're going to come across some slow moving individuals. So, you're going to want to put them in the wheelchair and blast through some of the crowd like that. All right, um, and this is a fun little thing to do anyway. Just bowl them down, you know, if you have the time, which you never really do, but just for showing you guys, why not? All right, everything has a, uh, a lifespan there. So oh, this guy's gonna try and grab. So just real quick, clear the area. Okay, so we're going to go through here. I'm doing uh, one of the missions, the side missions here. It's called Chuck the Role Model. You see it on the right. And uh, that's going to bring us right in here. So let's see what this is about. Cutscenes don't happen often. So when you get one, it's pretty interesting. Hey, buddy. You okay? Is he turning? Chuck Green. Wow. <laughs> Thank you for showing me the way. Now, my 
life has meaning again. At first, some avid fan. I didn't understand what the two of you were up to. What are you talking about? Letting the zombies free. Kira didn't have anything to do with that, and neither did I. First, it was horrible. The, the zombies, the, the zombies we've been trying to save. Killing people. Eating people. But then, I saw how brilliant the plan is. It's the best way to end the oppression. It's so radical. It's a beautiful man. Please, help me. Yeah. So he thinks that I released the zombies. I'm a semi-famous semi motocross star, and I've been framed. No, this is not the way to help anyone. Oh, I see. You're losing the courage to finish what you started. Well, I have the guts, and I'm taking this thing. Whoa! All the way. All right, so I'm gonna have to kill you, put you down. Jesus. I don't, I don't know if I can heal or what. This is not doing very much damage. Jesus. This is doing very little damage. I'm gonna die here. I don't think I was prepared for this. I need a snack. Big time. I gotta go get another snack. This is crazy. This guy's a nut. <coughs> My goodness. Spray paint, fountain firework. Never used that before. What? Eat some hamburgers and potatoes. Health up. Ourselves a chainsaw. We're gonna go fight that weirdo. 
This is easily the best weapon in the game, I think. I mean, unless it's attached to a paddle and you got two of them. I haven't come across anything better. What? Yes, okay. That was easier with the chainsaw, of course. Um, and we have full health, I think. Uh oh, he's been bitten. Let's see how long it takes for them to change. So this is a cool story, a uh, mini story anyway. Uh, a lot of them you're just grabbing people and you're walking them back, you're escorting them to the safe zone. Um, this one had a lot more backstory. Oh my gosh. Well, that's one thing. Now I'm probably gonna escort Vicky. The bathrooms, of course, are safe zones. So that's pretty neat. Cement saw on a saw blade, you can make a ripper. Okay, so good to know. Head back here, okay. Talk to her, untie her, and then you walk her back, probably. Case three time expired. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Um, that was a little interesting because, you know, you go there before, nothing. So, look, case three, Boomtown. That's it. Okay. This is frustrating. It wants me to stay here, wants me to go. It's just a big pain in the butt. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna attempt to do the other mission again. And if need be, I'll leave that sucker and I'll come back here. Now that I know, I'll get that chainsaw, get some health, and then I'll be ready to fight him. Now, to speed up the process, you can get a skateboard. There's um, dirt bikes, there's a car, which I haven't gotten the keys to, and there are like golf carts, which you can ride around every now and again. It helps get your kills up. The more kills you get, the more things you unlock, uh, such as health and other stuff. Um, get a snack, a little snacky. Just eating coffee creamer. Okay, that's it. We're out of here. Now, this time, I'm going to go get the chainsaw. I'm going to run in there, skip the cutscene. Uh, I don't know if the cutscene is wasting any of my time. Now it wants me to go back to the other one. Uh, terrible timing. It just blinked red at me, so I'm assuming that now that Boomtown mission is available. But I just got over here, I can't run back just yet. With a chainsaw, we'll knock him down. We'll run back with Vicky and save the day.
Yes. Now the cool thing is, if you don't want to throw your chainsaw away, you can at least let it run. And when you run through crowds of zombies, you do a little minor bit of damage that sets them back. So I'll typically, if I have, if I, if I find a chainsaw, I'll just hang on to it and I'll run everywhere with it. And uh, you don't have to worry about getting grabbed ever. Jeez, man. So, strategy, slice it. Oh my gosh, what are you... There it is. Okay. Now maybe we can get her and run back to... Uh that other mission. I mean, on the quick. We gotta go. We have got to go. Okay, okay, I'm coming. Where's that chainsaw, though? We're going, we're going, we got Vicky. We're going to the safe spot, we're gonna do that other mission. Uh, I don't even look back for them, honest. Because you'll know when they're in trouble. Just keep your eye on the arrow, keep your eye on their little square. Make sure nothing starts happening, but I think we're pretty safe. doing well. She seems like she's moving quick as, as well. A lot of the times you get these drunk people and old ladies and think, oh wait, you can't leave without them. Uh, so I gotta go back. But uh, when you are ready to exit, there's like a little green dot that shows up on their screen. And that'll uh, let you know they're close enough to follow you through the next area. There she comes, face the door, and there's the green dot. There's the green dot, okay. And once we come out of here, we're right next to the hallway for the safe zone. So we'll just have to push through. Push, 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 push. Okay, very little time but I think we're gonna make it.
Nothing like a ninja with a chainsaw. We're good to go. So, this will give me some bonus. Usually, when you save somebody, you level up. That's early on. I'm not sure if that'll happen this time. Uh, but let's get to that other mission on the double. It was TK. He's the one who framed us. TK? Are you sure? He admitted it to my face. But that's not possible. Why would he let his own zombie supply loose? Sabotage his own show? I saw him with my own eyes. So you say. Is that who your source is? TK? <laughs> Don't be ridiculous, Chuck. Whoa, what was that? It sounded like it came from outside. Looks like someone might be messing with the casino vaults. If I can get in the casino vault, O M G. Get out there and find out for myself. I don't know if she's really brave or just really stupid. Now it seems that TK released the zombies in order to get into the casino vaults. You know, he's no dummy. He's looking at the, uh, the situation as uh, an opening in order to rob the casino. That's what I'm getting from it. Urgent. Yeah, yeah. Hey. Um, let's do rock heroes first. You gotta time it out. And this one has a, the smallest bar. So we're gonna run over that direction. So, where are we headed? I've given myself a little breathing room so far by buying a Zombrex when I could at the pawn shop. That way I don't have to rely on story missions. Uh, but I still, I try and do as many of these story missions as possible. Because sometimes people die, sometimes people, uh, sometimes you run out of time. Sometimes they defect on you and they start fighting you if you don't take enough care of them. So it's all very uh, subjective based on your skill level and... Uh, how you play, I, I imagine. Now, I haven't done many missions on this side. This is like Las Vegas, neon light strips, the firework stop. Gianna. A band is playing? Okay. Here's a gun. You see this guy? Pick up the gun. There, I wonder. You see that helicopter, you'd imagine you'd be able to fly it, but not that I've seen so far. You just uh, pick it up and hit people with that.
cool. Get out of here. Now this one seems pretty easy. I can't imagine that these guys are going to be slow. So you just run the three of them back to base. And, uh, you know, it's good, it's bad, whatever. But this is how you up your character. This is how I got that many bars of health. You saw my long range attacks upgraded. Um, I guess that's accuracy and throwing, because I could throw this chainsaw if I wanted, you know? So, be patient with me, we're going to go through the crowd, yen, yen. just a race against the clock. I have a handgun. I do see this guy. He's got another handgun. I'd like to pick those up whenever possible, of course. Okay, so now we're out of here. The only other thing is that, uh, ATMs drop a good bit of money. I know there's an ATM in there, but I really don't feel like going and busting it up. You get, uh, I think like $2,500. Significant. Uh, we're gonna go right through here. Oh, you can do the curb stomp, eh? I wasn't making that up. Somebody was shooting at me just a second ago. Whoa! So we're gonna grab that. Ew! Jesus! money right in here. This must be the vault that they were talking about. Do I just shut it off or no? A drill motor, eh? Bags, suitcase, crowbar. that drum drill run through and uh, take the money myself but whatever it wants me to finish the other mission all right so you know what we're not doing that we're going to run these people back safe to the base 
But in order to do that, let's look at the map. Uh, I gotta make a hard right. Hard right. Where in the world is it taking me? There we go. Okay. did it again every time I'll do that and you go through without your people and you got to go back so a little heartache luckily load times are small not a big problem I'm sure in the original it might have taken a little bit longer so that's that isn't it one two three once you get the greens on all of them one two and three Yeah. Now, there is a, an element in this game, the cure movement. There's people that are actually trying to cure the zombies. And uh, as a motocross guy, my only jobs are like going into these arenas and like dicing them up with chainsaw bikes. So, uh, yeah. That's how the, the whole game starts. You're actually in the arena driving a, a dirt bike so that was a nice start to the game uh, but then of course all hell breaks loose you gotta bring your daughter to safety and or check on her and then bring her to safety and it was it was a little bit of a, tur a turn up a, a, a radish a turn up I don't know what I'm trying to say toss up it was a little touch and go for a second all right you three come on Now that's going to give us some buco points. Thanks, man. Whoa, they are hardcore. We got a combo card. Oh, yeah. This might be my favorite weapon. Good. All right, so we're gonna go. Uh, ooh, but what is industrial fashion? Yeah, let's do this one. Now you're gonna grab this bat. We're gonna put some nails in it first. So the other cool thing, you don't need the combo card in order to make these combinations with weapons. If you have a hunch or uh, sometimes by walking into a new maintenance room, there's going to be things to give you a clue of what kind of stuff goes together based on what's in that area. Uh, you can make some cool stuff. Um, I made the, pa the paddle chainsaw just on a whim because I knew it was on the box, so I, I put those two together. Um, but you get lucky sometimes, otherwise you have to upgrade. They'll give you the uh, combination cards as you go. Playing avoidance, of course, because I don't want to waste ammo, I don't want to waste my bat's health. <clears throat> Grabbing cash. See, as long as you keep moving, there's really no risk at all of even getting touched anyway. Um, mainly to protect people you're fighting, uh, just for fun, of course, and then uh, to experiment, hang on, experiment new weapons. You get a lawnmower, you can push it through a hell of a lot of zombies.
Okay. Uh, the Fortune City Hotel, this is where we found the reporter. We actually saved her and brought her back. Uh, but she was reporting that we were the one letting the zombies out. Somebody had dressed up in our motocross gear and opened the gate. <clears throat> Ends up, it seems like it was TK because he wants to steal. So, where are we headed? Just down and around. Now you see, I'm not really attacking them. I'm just going through and I'm loosening them up. And she's doing all the dirty work. I'm saving the life of my soul. Uh, and in the bigger scheme, I'd like to find a saw blade and combine this to make that ripper tool. Damn, did she hit me? Okay, so there's two of them. Okay, let's go. Let's boogie. Gotta be saw blades around here. I'm looking for a maintenance room. Being a little selfish, of course. Yes. Yes. All right, we'll chest test out. We're, we're gonna titty chest the breasts. We're gonna we're gonna play with this the ripper. Let's see what it does. Is there a, a guy right behind me? Yes. I right. know oh, it's a girl. Thank God. the other one? Uh-oh. She's in deep sh doof. So she's doing a tired angle, is what she's doing. We gotta get the heck out of here. We gotta find maybe a wheelchair to push her in. Is that my lady? I'm a lady. I want to say hi. How is Wick? Is it? Is it queen? Thank you. Sorry to interrupt. My haircut. Alright! It looks so good! Oh, I found a wheelchair. 
Yay! Well, hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use up all of this first. You're gonna go eat. Alright. I love you. Yeah. Yeah. Hi. Hi, Zero Cats. Meow. Meow. Take it off. Hi, baby. And then you can do it in case she wants to come down, okay? Mm-hmm. Uh-oh. Alright. So, let's save this lady again. This Ripper has a great deal of life. Of health, of uh, endurance, I'll say. I don't know. Stability? Stability. Oh. <laughs> Alright. Uh, it is red, so we are close to destroying the Ripper. You know what? No use grabbing the wheelchair because we're going through a door right here anyway. So we'll have to find a new wheelchair. This weapon is totally tubular, man. Alright, so. Looks like she's getting frustrated with me. Alright, we're good. On to the next. So we have to go through this, uh, the masses here and into the mall. Okay. Keeping my eye out, of course, for a wheelchair at all times. Oops, sorry lady. Sorry, this is how you get them to defect on you. By accidentally running them over with carts.
Oops, did I throw that bat at her? I did not mean to throw the bat. I'm gonna pick that up. Uh, that woman is down there having a real tough time with some zombies. Come on, lady. Alright, so you see, this is where fighting comes in. You want to save your weapons for times like this, because obviously, this woman is going to be the death of me. Alright, they're both good to go. Through the casino. I'll have to reassess after uh, we get through here how much time I have left if I want to carry on with the case missions or carry on doing uh, side missions. And I would imagine as long as you're doing them clean, oh my gosh. Okay, so... Of this guy, hey, little bonus for me? Anything? No, no, nothing. Oh, she made it! Thank goodness, I was worried about you. Not too worried, of course. Oof. Oh, this is perfect. Here we go. Come on. Come on, where is she? But I need you to get out of here. Like now, get out of here. <laughs> I don't want to be pushing the healthy one in a wheelchair. Is that too much to ask? There we go. Alright, so which way are we going? Um, I'm going to make a right. <gasps> what did I just do? 
Okay, we're going. Destroyed that wheelchair. All right, we're getting out of here. We're getting out of here now. Yeah, I believe this is. Yep, that's the way we gotta go. Gosh. Okay, so that's what you get. You're defected, so we're out of here. Every man for himself. Not my best work. Not my best work at all. I did kind of shoot her right in the face. I'll we'll have to rewatch that and see how close I was actually aiming to her face. I didn't mean to. This has us, of course, going to stop TK's guys from getting in another vault. Yucatan Casino. I don't know that I've ever been in here before. It has like a green glow to it. And crazy music too. No good. What? Is that it? I think the other guy might have blown himself up. Visors, hat, LMG, oh my gosh, no way, I have 200 bullets for that thing, oh my, 
It's not doing anything. Uh oh. We can do this. Come on. Okay. Oh, cake. Beer and cake. Cake and beer. Use this motor to beat up that motor. All right, got another one. TK's goons are still robbing the city, so it wants me to go on to the next. No? Left nothing undone? Alright, so running low on time for the uh, run for the money mission. We're gonna try Taste Like Chicken though, if I can. Ooh, a torch! This LMG is going to be so cool. Oh, another cutscene. So I'm probably gonna have to kill this guy as well. That's what I'm learning from cutscenes. Cannibalism, I'd expect. It's true, they say. Tastes like chicken. Wait! Needs a bit more butter. This is for you. I've created my, my ultimate dish. Very original, exotic, and fresh. Oh, yes, very fresh. You know, this will find it easily worthy of four stars. My readers? What are you talking about? You... Not the perfume. I've been waiting for you! Who the hell would want to eat this? How dare you! I'm Antoine! I am the king of cuisine! <laughs> no, man. This can still be a once-in-a-lifetime meal, so sit, relax. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna fire a couple of bullets right at him.
What do you do if you don't have an LMG? Alright, well that'll conclude this episode of Zoro Cats. I think Dead Rising uh, gave us a good run. And uh, we'll see you next time. Be sure to click the subscribe kitty at the end of the credits or during the credits. I can never get a saying right for this. What am I trying to say? You're going to want to click on the kitty. Click the kitty to subscribe. And like, share, and uh, enjoy. We'll see you guys next time.